with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Me, but I never saw a war club like that before. It ain't a war club. It's a rabbit stick. A rabbit stick? Yeah. Us Hopi Indians use it to hunt rabbits. Gosh, if you're a Hopi, you're awful far from home, aren't you? Well, I'm only half Hopi. My pa was as white as you. And I ain't got no home, neither with the Indians nor with your folks. Gosh, I'm awful sorry, mister. Nobody ever calls me mister. I'm just Hopi Bill. Come down here, kid. I'll show you how we use this. You see that yucca tree? Now, if that was a rabbit... Gosh, you sure can throw that. Saves bullets if you want rabbit stew for supper. Stay here, Pixie. And if you miss, it comes right back to you. Ah, oh, now. Watch, but get ready to duck. See, it's coming back, all right. That's a boomerang, like they have in Australia. I don't know about Australia. Well, I better be wrestling me some grub. And I better be getting home. So long. So long. Baby him so much when we get the new team to spell them. Now, you look tired, Mr. Leeds. Why don't you sit inside? I'll drive. Oh, thanks, Desert Fox. I feel all right. Say, how come you never call me Pop Leeds like all the others do? Uh, some white men would think I don't know my place as an Indian. Well, I'm not some white man. You know you've been like a son to me for a long time. Stuck by me when I could hardly pay wages. I think if anybody got a right to call me Pop, it's you. Okay, if you say so, Pop. Well, I do. I think they're arrested. What do you say? Let's go. All right, get up. Here's your guns.
leave stage. In trouble. Yeah. I'm okay, Lofty. But Pop. Come on. Help you. It's a hold up, Annie. Pop. Is that Desert Fox? Yes. Uh, I'm not going to make it. I want. What is it you want, Pop? I'm willing my stage line to Desert Fox. Franchise and all. But, Pop. Uh, that's my will. If you're lying to me, I happen just like I told you, boss. Some engine must have stolen it. The mail's all there. Well, that's better. That letter I'm looking for ain't here. Now, this saves your neck, Brick. The Army's going to open a new cavalry post at Purple Butte. It says so, don't it? Yeah. And with all the traveling and hauling, that broken down stage line will be worth a fortune. And nobody knows about it but us. You gonna try for the franchise? Try, I'm gonna get it. How'd you know about this in advance? It's part of my business to know stuff other people don't. And that's what Pop wanted. That's the reason Lofty and I called this little meeting, so you all would know what it was all about. But I warn you, if an Indian operates the stage, it's going to ruin what little business there was at Purple Butte. As a business broker, I've got to agree with Banker Sykes. Oh, Desert Fox is incompetent. He rides gun guard with Pop, Pop gets killed, and we lose the mail pouch. That could happen to anybody. But regardless of what you think, Desert Fox owns the line, and there isn't much you can do about it. Well, now, there's one thing I can do. The bank was going to extend credit to Pop for that spare team he needed. Well, that credit is canceled as of now. Uh, isn't the stage franchise coming up for renewal in a couple of days? Yes, it is. And I'll back anybody that wants to try for it. Well, uh, for the good of the town, I'll see what I can do. We'll find something. Annie. Annie, maybe I shouldn't even try to qualify for the new franchise again. You've got to, Desert Fox. It's your one chance to do something big for your people. To prove that an Indian can do a job as well as a white man. That's right. I know, but... With no money and nobody to help me. Hopey Bill! Howdy, son. Gosh, what are you doing in town? Just passing by. Gosh, come on inside. I want you to meet my sister. All right. Annie? This is Hopey Bill, the one I was telling you about. I was listening outside. Sounds like there might be a job for a fellow, especially if he's half Indian. There might be. It's certainly worth talking about. Quiero hablar contigo, pero solo. Si, como no. <laughs> sure. You can talk to Desert Fox alone. Everything's up to him. Come on, Tag. We'll stand by to help you all we can. Thank you, Lofty. Thank you, Annie. I've always been a loner, figuring I don't belong on either side. But from what's happening here, I feel different. Different? How? 
I see an Indian get a chance like I never heard of before. So now, I want to track with the Indian side of me. I can't even pay wages right now. I don't want pay. I can't even qualify for the new franchise without a spare team. I got some money. Living the way I do, I don't spend much. How much do you need? $400, but I couldn't guarantee to pay it back. I won't miss it. All I want is to see an Indian make good on a chance like this. Bill, I'll take you up at that. I'll make you a partner. I don't need that. Well, as long as we live, you're my brother, Hopi. And you are my brother. There's no time to lose, though. Miller might try to get the horses Pop had a deal for. They're the best around here. Where are they? The Triangle Dot Ranch out north of town. Look, I'll go to the bank, buy a draft so we won't lose any cash if anything goes wrong. Meanwhile, you hightail it out to the ranch. I worked out even easier than I thought it would. Somebody's coming. That's the banker. Act natural, you got nothing to worry about. I'm glad you came, Sykes. Meet Brick Mason and Roscoe Barnes. They're the fellas that are gonna run the stage line for me. Now, now, before getting into it any further, Miller, you ought to know that the Indian's gonna fight for the franchise. He's raised money for fresh horses. From home? Mm, some other Indian on his way to get him right now. Yeah? Well, we might stop that. How? Oh. There's ways. But you understand I'm opposed to violence. Well, I'm opposed to it too, but we gotta think of the good of the whole town. Well, of course, of course. That's, uh, <coughs> that's the whole point. <coughs> Let's rouse up some of the folks in town and head for the Triangle Dot. You hear anything unusual, Lofty? What's there to hear? The town's as quiet as a grave. What I mean by unusual. Well, there's a bunch of men riding out to the North Road. The North Road? Yeah. Miller and some others. No reason I can think of. Lofty Miller might be trying to keep Desert Fox from getting those horses. Let's find out. Tag, you stay here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it looks like horse saves to me. Maybe we better mask up. Well, I don't want to look like no outlaw. You don't want to be recognized, do you? Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go. Annie, we was after horse thieves. I know what you were after, and you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Now go and round up those horses. Gonna teach you this town ain't no place for horse thieves. You ain't working for the town. You robbed the mail pouch. Mail pouch? Moccasins. You must be the guy with this stick. Okay, let's get the horses. 
We got some place to go. Get a move on. Come on, Desert Fox. Let's go back and see what this is all about. All right. These men decided to take the law into their own hands, Annie. And nobody likes horse thieves. Where'd you get the idea the horses were stolen? Word spread around town. You know how rumors start. Desert Fox paid for those horses. Well, let's get them back to town. Thanks, Annie. See anything of Hopi Bill? No. Let's go back and see if we can find him. Annie, you're going to have to stop associating with these thieving Indians. Lofty, I'm charging that man with highway robbery. What robbery? Well, this telegram came from the bank at Purple Butte. They were transferring $2,000 to my bank, and the money the Indian had was stolen from the mail pouch. How do you know? Why, the bank has the serial numbers listed right there on the wire. And these four bills that Desert Fox gave me are part of the series. But Pop and I were robbed by three white men. Oh, that's a cock and bull story. The Indians framed it up. Well, I don't know the answer, Desert Fox, but Hopi Bill didn't come back to town last night, and that is stolen money. Well, I'm not leaving here till I see him locked up. The way things stand, Desert Fox, we don't have any choice. But Hopi Bill could clear this up if we could find him. We could check the road where Tag first met him. He may have a camp around there somewhere. Mm, yes, but there's no sense in starting now. It'll be dark before long. But the first thing in the morning... We as good as got the franchise, Brick. I've got my stage and horses lined up. Good. We got something here you ought to check into, too. Deke, bring him in. Opie Bill. Yeah, it was him who clubbed me with this and slipped the mail pouch. Well, then he's still got the best part of $2,000. How come you're so sure of getting the lion and me having that money, Miller? Hey, your pal, Desert Fox, is in jail for passing stolen bills you gave him, that's why. He had nothing to do with stealing it. Now, what's the difference? He's in jail. Now, where's the rest? I got it hid. Let me have a drink of water, and maybe we can talk a deal. What's your idea of a deal? I'm ready to take the blame. Go down and give myself up. But I won't tell you where the money is until Desert Fox is out of jail. No deal. And you ain't getting out of here till you talk. Throw him back in there. Now, if he don't get thirsty enough to talk tonight, give him water tomorrow morning on these straps. Soak them real good. I got you. You two come on now. You make anything of these tracks, Annie? No, but they're fresh. Yeah? Let's split up and see which way these trails go. Are you ready to talk, Injun? I've been staked out in the sun tied with wet leather before. You have. Well, tell me about it. How does it feel when the sun shrinks the leather and it slowly cuts into your muscles, huh? It hurts. But not enough to make me talk. No, we'll see. Come on. I know what happened. The money was stolen, but Desert Fox didn't know it. He don't deserve to lose a line on account of what I did. Where'd you get the money? These fellows stole it, Miller's men. I took it off them. Did you hear that, Lofty? Enough of it. You get the whole story and I'll ride down, see if I can save the franchise for Desert Fox. <laughs> Certainly lucky we found out about those Indians in time. But, uh, you, uh, you better get started, Miller. Well, there's no hurry. All I have to do is make the run and we got the franchise. Help 
me hook up Desert Fox's stage in a hurry. I'll tell you about it while we harness. All right. <laughs> I'm going to trust you. Trust me. Deliver yourself and Miss Ranahan at the jail. I'll be plumb happy to go to jail as long as you get this bunch. You're in charge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You think you won the franchise for that thieving Indian? No, she won it from a thieving white man. You're under arrest. What? I got a confession and the whole story from Hopi Bill. You dirty... Um. Hold it. You're just in time, Sheriff. We've got a couple of customers for you. But why did Miller go through all that trouble? Found this letter in his pocket. An army post at Purple Butte. Well, that explains everything. Boy, I want you to accept my apology. I acted on a blind prejudice that I'm ashamed of. It's all right, Mr. Sykes. I just want this chance to prove what I can do with the help of my partner. A fine partner, doing time in prison. But you won't be gone for long, will you, Annie? <laughs> no, of course not, Tag. You know, I don't think Mr. Sykes is the only one that's learned a lesson. Yes, sir. -y. I figured stealing money from an outlaw wasn't stealing. Well, looks like stealing is stealing. And when you do come back, I bet I can throw this rabbit stick just as well as you. I've been practicing. See that tree across the street? Gosh, guess I missed. Look out! Marsh, these things are dangerous. <laughs> 